works for over 16 years now and I have seen some amazing results from using them um, with wound healing in the animals, for irritated skin, for digestive upsets and some of the products are specific for other areas like um, with inflammation of the joints, the freedom in particular. With the, the products, it's very similar to is with people. Basically, they work in the same way. Um, aloe vera, fundamentally, is naturally helps soothing tissues, both the skin uh, and the digestive system. And so it's a very, very similar system to find in, in uh, people. Uh, when it comes to the main products that we use, uh, there'd be the oral ones, such as the aloe vera gel, the freedom, uh, pollen and propolis, of course, uh, and then topical ones like pet formula, specific for the animal world, uh, jelly and propolis cream. Pet formula can be used on most species, uh, ranging from fish through to children's pets, dogs, cats, horses and of course farm animals. It's very useful that it comes as a spray application because sometimes you can't get directly up to the animal, other times they don't like you rubbing things into their skin and so you can apply this from a, a distance. Aloe vera gel is, in my opinion, a foundation product. Um, no matter the condition that I'm trying to help in an animal, I will always put them on the aloe vera gel. If it's a respiratory condition, they would have it. If it's a digestive problem, they would have the gel. Or even if it's a skin problem, they'll have gel. One instance that immediately springs to mind regarding gel was our own dog, who was getting quite advanced in years when we joined the company and had developed stiffness in her back. Uh, the result of being given aloe gel in her food was that within the second week, she was quite prepared to bend and go underneath gates that she had been refusing to go under before. And I thought that this was a quite a, a convincing demonstration to the fact that the dog was uh, obviously uh, getting some benefit from the actual gel. With freedom, we tend to vary the amount uh, depending on the species. So for a rabbit, we'll give about five meals a day. For a cat, about 15. Dogs weighing around 30 kilos would have 60 meals, and a horse up to 250 meals a day. Once we start to see an improvement, then we can actually reduce those levels, sometimes by up to about half. With the freedom, uh, we've had a result actually ourselves uh, with one of our horses. We have uh, a mare, she's 30 years old, called Amber. She's an Arab mare. Um, she had quite severe stiffness in her hind legs and we put her on to the freedom uh, at 250 mils a day. And over a six week period, her lameness has greatly improved and she shows real no signs of stiffness uh, when she comes over her stable in the mornings now. The liquid soap we use on, on most species. Uh, we can use it on the cats, dogs, um, horses in particular as well. And where we're using it is we're using it as a dilute product. We're taking a, a small bowl of warm water, a couple plunges of the soap into it, and we're using it for cleaning up the skin. Um, particularly if they say they've got a, a wound and want to clean it off. All you have to remember is when you're washing animals is not to overwash because too much water damages the epithelial cells, removes the natural oils, and it destroys some of the good commensal bacteria. One particular example where I've used liquid soap um, quite a lot is in dogs uh, with skin irritations. Uh, often in the dogs you get very matted hair, lots of discharges, and you need to clean that off. And using the aloe soap for this, I found has been, again, very soothing and calming. Uh, one of our own dogs, uh, called Arnold, uh, he had a, a quite a large patch of irritation on his skin and it really did clean it, soothe it and uh, heal up any minor irritation that he had. Tooth gel is particularly useful in dogs. Um, that's where I would use it most commonly. Uh, they suffer from plaque and tartar on their teeth just as people do. They also get um, soreness of their gums, maybe even ulcers in their mouths. And I find by using the, the tooth gel, it soothes down any irritation in the mouth. 
It helps to prevent the data and the plaque because it has not only aloe vera in it, but also propolis. I own three soft-coated Wheaton Terrier dogs and I clean their teeth every day with the aloe vera tooth gel and the great thing about that is if they swallow it, it isn't harmful to them and it has kept their teeth and gums healthy just the same as it's kept mine clean and healthy. Proper screen can actually be used on most species. Um, you can use it on fish, but we particularly use it on the children's pets, uh, the rabbits, guinea pigs, cats of course, dogs. Uh, we can even use it on farm animals as well as horses. We noticed our pony was lame and, and we didn't spot um, that she had a, a nail in her, her frog, the, the sensitive part of her hoof. Um, and so when we took it out, it was actually oozing and obviously it had been causing her a lot of pain and there was quite a hole in her, in her, her, her frog. Um, we soaked it and then sprayed it with veterinary spray to give it a really good clean and packed the hole with the allopropolis cream. Um, I knew that the allopropolis had anti antibacterial properties and we kept doing this every day for six days. Then we brought the farrier out who was going to make a protective shoe for the, the pony and he was absolutely amazed that there was no infection and we then carried on for another couple of weeks and, and it just remained really clean and, and made it, you know, healed up beautifully. She also comes in from the field with bites from other horses. So we use the propolis cream to he um, help soothe and, and get rid of the nasty bites from the other horses. So yeah, it's really helped with Jessie and her little nibbles. <laughs> Aloe vera jelly is suitable for pretty well all animals. Um, not only are we talking the common domestic species, um, from the children's pets to the horses and cattle, but also unusual species like reptiles, snakes. Um, we've used uh, it on fish as well. It's an excellent product because of its high aloe vera content to use all, on all these different species. The aloe vera jelly is mostly used uh, as a wound treatment and a healing treatment in animals. Uh, I have one particular very um, dramatic case where it rapidly healed a cat's wound that resulted from being scalded. It resulted in uh, an extensive skin sloughed off the middle of the back which healed in under four weeks and hair grew back out of the healed area which was a um, totally surprising and uh, I, I thought a very convincing demonstration of how aloe vera can work. I've got three long-haired dogs and in the summer they pick up ticks um, from the long grass that they run in and I found that if I put a blob of the aloe vera jelly on the tick and wait 60 seconds the tick suffocates, drops off and the aloe has already started to to benefit the area where the tick was. Jelly I've used on Tiddles um, was when he had a, a weepy eye and um, I thought, right, I'll get the veterinary formula, uh, diluted it, just bathed his eye for him um, and then I just put a dab of jelly in the corner of his eye. I did notice a big improvement by the following day. When I first got Jessie, um, she came to us and um, she was a lovely horse. In the summer it's, it, it's really hot and obviously she's, she's out all year round so there's loads of flies. Um, so we use the jellies on fly bites and irritations from flies because she gets little lumps across her belly and from heat rash as well we use the jelly just to soothe it and um, take away the irritation from the flies, so yeah. When you're using complementary products like aloe vera you need to make sure it's a good quality product. And this is what I found with all the products which Forever Living Products produce, they are of the top quality that we need to get the results we're trying to in the animals. Yeah.